Hi guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. It is, uh, this is week number three, and it's, uh, what time is it? It's just past nine o'clock. We just got below about 95 degree weather. The kids just came back from, what'd you guys go and do? Where were you? Put the goats away and chickens. You put the goats away and the chickens? Yes. What else did you do? That's about it. That's about it. All right, now what are you guys gonna go do? Rest. Go to bed? All right, I'll see you later. Good night. Yeah. I'll come in and talk to you in a little bit, okay? Okay. What is it? <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, kids are in bed or heading towards bed. Uh, goats are put away, chickens are done. I'm still awake wearing my Paymaker mechanical shirt because today I uh, filmed, which what will be Tuesday's video, and that was uh, uh, putting the tires on the four wheeler. Uh, goat pooped on me so yeah it's been a, a well-rounded day here on the ranch but I want to show you something really special um, eh, eh, kind of special I guess um, that I did this week um, and I actually just completed it today I want you to check this out Jeff hasn't seen it yet in fact I don't even know where he's at he was with the kids uh, when they went out to put in the uh, the chickens and, and put the goats away but uh, I don't know where they're at I don't he hasn't said anything about it and <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the picture on it every single day so I've got a bunch of pictures that Jeff's wife Loretta sent me and I'm gonna change the pictures on this uh, employee of the month thing every single day so I'll show you each day as we change the pictures and I'm just gonna leave it up I'm gonna see if he ever says anything about it because I don't know if he's noticed it yet but uh, hopefully he will and, and if not then it's it's funny it's something to, to pass the time today 97 degrees uh, was the temperature today tomorrow we're looking for a high of 103 so I don't know how much stuff I'm gonna get done tomorrow but uh, it's gonna be a hot one might get some paperwork done might hang out inside might pack some orders I know I've got a few beef jerky orders to get packed and sent out. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that can be done inside the air conditioning, at least at least I hope so. So here's to our employee of the month, Mr. Jeff Lake. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that as we move through the week. And hopefully um, we can make it through the heat and, uh, and keep on trucking. And speaking of trucking, we're still uh, taking water down to the cows uh, right now. We're still right about that 4,000 um, gallons per day that we had to take down. But today was a weird day because of the way that the time fell, um, Jeff actually took two trips down today. 8,000 gallons of water uh, went down to the cows today. So lots, lots of water moving. Tomorrow will probably be a big water day. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to stay cool. You do the same and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys and welcome back to the day the week the daily vlog weekly vlog whatever you want to call it uh weekly wrap up maybe we'll call it that it's tuesday and right now uh it's about uh 8 8 15 in the evening uh we had a day that reached about 103 degrees here on the ranch so we've been kind of uh hiding out inside in the air conditioning as much as possible but there's still work that needs done and today um, we're actually going to be uh, working on the Mack truck just a little bit. We've been using it to haul water. Uh, we've got all of our tanks set up on it. But one of the problems that we have is that the hitch plate, you can see it right about here, is actually too far back on the truck. And we need to get that moved forward. Uh, now, there's a mechanical or actually an air actuator that controls that but it's jammed up. So we're gonna try to get that loose today and hopefully uh, be able to move it and, uh, and move this whole thing forward on the truck 
so that it sits a little bit better and rides a little bit better as we're going down the road, um, especially on the dirt roads as we head back. So Jeff's going to move the truck. He just got it fired up, as you heard. Um, he's going to move the truck, get it straightened out here for us, and then we're going we're gonna to see what we can do and, and see if we can get this thing fixed. All right, Jeff has the truck straightened out, but we've got a little bit bigger problem that we've got to go deal with uh, right now. I'm going to grab Jeff and see if we can get him moving in this direction. I need your help. Way down there, you can barely see it, but there's a steer out there, or a steer or a heifer or something out in the gate. So just leave this thing running. We're gonna jump back out on the highway because we've got that gate right down there we can push her right into. Erin called me and she said, where are you? I said, we're up working on the Mac. Well, I'm sitting here watching a, a steer push his way out onto the highway. So he pushed his way through a fence or something. We may end up putting this whole thing on hiatus if it gets dark on us. So now we're probably gonna have to fix fence and <laughs> and get this steer back in. These guys have been bad this year. Hopefully I've got things in, in the works to get some hay coming so that these guys quit heading out on the ditch here and trying to get to this nice grass. They broke it down. The rest of them are coming through. Yeah. Okay, we gotta push those guys back. Him we can put up here in this gate, but yeah, we need to fix that. Hey, knock it off, numb nuts. Can you jump up there and get that gate open and I'll see if I can push him up? You guys stay in there. All right, Jeff's got it open. Here he comes. Nope, turn around, go the other way. Nope, turn around, turn around. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. Good job. All right. Jeff is getting that gate closed. We're gonna head back down this way. Cause he's coming right back. Well, oh, maybe. All right, so there's where they push through. Do you have a strap in your truck? I do. Cause we could just pull a strap. Yep. And see if we can just pull this back. They busted this post right here. <laughs> they busted that post. We're gonna have to put a new post in. But for now, if we can go from here back to like that second, second tunnel mark, pull this back. See what I'm saying? gonna hold it at least for tonight. Yeah if they don't push too hard. Which is fine. But like I was saying this is like the bad part about the drought. Like we they, they want food so bad. Yeah, and do. there's just not enough of it out here. I guess we head back up towards the Mac and see if we can figure this out. Alright so let me walk you through what we're doing here really quick. This is the fifth wheel plate right underneath here. That's where the trailer attaches to 
the tractor, which is the semi side, and that sits on rails and it can slide back and forth. We want to slide this all the way forward and there's an actuator right here that should pop open this whole thing. Um, should is the operative word. We're going to try it. Now, inside, inside the semi, Jeff has a little tiny switch, right? That basically just puts air to this. So why don't you jump up and kind of flip that switch a few times and I'll try to see if it's doing anything. Okay. I just got it just moved a little bit. There we go. Mac wins for now. We're not able to get that uh, that connector loosened enough, and then we broke the air hose to it. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, get another connection. Possibly try to do it again once we can get the air flowing correctly, because that air hose was uh, busted to start with, and then of course with us wiggling around and messing with it, it busted even farther. So that's it uh, for tonight. I think uh, Jeff's going to swing this thing around and get it situated to where he can fill it up um, with water in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll give it another try just a little bit later. So that's it uh, for Tuesday. I'm going to call it a night, um, go in and hang out with the kiddos just a little bit. I've got to change Jeff's picture and his employee of the month thing still, so I'll get that done. I'll show you that tomorrow. Plus, on the way here uh, on our weekend vlog, we're going to take a look at those tires and see how much doing it ourselves actually saved us. That's all coming up, so stick around. Hey gang, welcome back and uh, thanks for joining us as we continue our theme uh, this week on the weekly vlog and that is evenings on the ranch. It's just past seven o'clock, 86 degrees out and uh, we're going to do something that we do every single every single evening here on the ranch. It's been a long day. Um, and that is grab the goats for what we call goat time. First though, we're gonna stop by and take a look at our employee of the month for today. That, of course, is Mr. Jeff Lake hanging out there with his kilt on. We've been changing the picture on him every single day. He still hasn't seen it, or if he has seen it, he's ignoring it, which is probably more than likely what's happening. All right, let's head in here and go and grab some goats. Guys ready to come out? Ready to go to the yard? Ready to go to the yard? Okay, come on, let's go. Come on. So every single night we bring these guys out to our yard. <laughs> for their evening bottle or dinner or whatever you want to call it and uh, they get to hang out in the yard they play with the dog and uh, have dinner and of course Bean is over here waiting for him to come in and say hi come on let's go alrighty guys got their bottle over here 
along with my bottle. Jackie's getting started. All right. You know, maybe I'll see if I can find a kid. He's got to give us a hand here. Dean. Oh, look, there's your goat friend. Do you want to help me feed goats, Grace? Yeah. Okay. And Bean's got a bottle down there. Oh, hey, there's Lincoln. You gonna help us feed goats? No. Come on. Can you grab this one? Okay. Can you hold on this to it for me for a second? Thank you, buddy. There we go. Kids are out feeding the goats. As you can see behind me, very, very hazy. Lots of fires, and I'm sure that uh, lots of places in the U.S. you guys are dealing with them too. Lots of smoke. Um, we actually had a fire just south of us today. Uh, burned a couple hundred acres down there, so we were a little bit worried about that. We actually went down and checked on it, and made sure it wasn't threatening uh, any of our grass. I think there's been about 4,000 acres that have burned in our county uh, so far this year, so we're definitely keeping an eye on the fire danger. Fire truck's right over, right over there somewhere I can never do this there we go right there fire truck waiting and hopefully not going to be used so that's pretty much it we're going to finish feeding the goats and let them go and play good job lincoln high five good job when your soul is lonely sad and blue Got the love and shoulders to lean on There's always a sunny side Across the river, take a ride Take a swim and all your worries go away Go cross the river and you'll be fine Go counting winners It's right down the line You'll be alright on the sunny side Hi guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. It's Thursday, July 29th, and there seems to be some sort of weird thing happening outside. I think, I'm trying to remember, I'm going back in my memory banks here, but I think this is called rain, and it is falling down. Uh, we are expected to get about an inch of rain this evening. I don't know if you can see it at all, but it's definitely, uh, it's coming down pretty well. The Mac out there getting a nice, a nice wash job on it as well. We step out here. Oh yeah, it's raining. It's wet. Yeah, definitely raining. Oh, jeez, it's cold. <laughs> it's such a rare weather occurrence. <laughs> I know, it is weird. It's really coming down out there. You can see it rolling off the roof. Lincoln, you gonna go out there? I will. Will you do it? Yeah, I will. Okay, Kenzie's gonna make a mad dash for it. Okay, Kenzie, you have to go all the way out. Touch the tire of the Mac, okay. and then come back. Are you ready? Well, I'll do it. My hat doesn't get wet. Do you want me to hold on? 
You're worried about your hat? No. Yeah, you can put your hat. You can put your hat. Put it on Jeff's head. Whoa! That was a big one. They just, they just had a heart attack. He's going down. All right, Kenzie, you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, hit it. Go. Oh, Bean's coming out to help you. You're on your way back. Oh, you lost the bean. Where'd the bean go? Bean! Bean, get back in here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast, Kenzie. Really coming down now. I think that uh, that thunderclapper just woke the whole place up. Really starting to come down. I don't know. How close do you think it was? I think it was right on top of us. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna run over here to the sales barn really quick. So I wanted to share with you something that's really cool about these old barns. Is obviously they're tin, tin roofs. Very, very loud in here. Uh, with the rain falling down. Goats. What? The goats. the goats? What do you want to do with the goats? You want to go see them? Yeah. Okay, let's go see the goats. Let's see how they're doing in the rain. Okay, we're heading out to check on the goats. Bean, be the ice. Oh, they look okay. Looks like they're doing pretty good. But it looks like it's really raining outside. Here, let's go, uh, let's go peek out the back side of the barn here. Oh, it's coming down. This is nice. Nice rain. Woo, look at that. Look at all that rain coming down. Oh, Kenzie's heading out. Look at that. Holy smokes. It smells like muddy pigs out there. All right, let's go check on mom. Make sure Jeff doesn't need CPR. Goats are, I think your goats are a little scared. Let it rain, guys, let it rain. Well, let's hope this hangs on for a while. It's a little bit uh, too late for the hay, obviously, but this will definitely keep the fire danger down and let it keep on rolling out here. So lots of rain is a good thing. We'll come back tomorrow and let you know how much we got. So that's it for today. Hi guys, welcome back to our weekly vlog as we continue our evenings on the ranch. It's about 8.30 on Friday, Friday night. It is Friday night. Uh, I am actually just out doing some nighttime chores. So figured I'd drag you along as we uh, take off to check on Blonde Cow and Old Lefty over here along with Showtime. We're also gonna go ahead and put in the chickens while we're out and about so uh last night we got that little bit of rain it rained for about maybe an hour maybe an hour and a half and we ended up with 0.43 inches so four tenths of an inch basically um as you can see now <laughs> not even 24 hours later and it's completely dry uh there's a little bit of a damp spot you can see right there little damp spot there but that's about it uh the rain really didn't do a whole lot obviously we still hauled water today and we took a look at some reservoirs you couldn't tell that there was any rain except for the fact that it was just a little bit damp so the rain while it definitely does us some good um reduces the fire danger a little bit it's not gonna save the hay or technically even cancel out the drought what we need at this point is basically rain to fall throughout you know the next couple months would be nice keep the ground wet reduce that fire danger and then we need snow this winter that's kind of what we what we really need hey buddy
Okay, so we're over here at the chicken house. It is right behind me, this gray building. Um, all of that stuff over there on that side, that's actually fire damage. We did have a fire uh, a few years ago here in the chicken house. We had a, a heat lamp that fell down, fell into some straw, and actually we had the fire department and the whole nine yards out here. Our chicken house, in case you've never seen this before, is actually divided into two sides. One side of the chicken house is all of these ladies that are out here wandering around. These are the egg layers. They are the ones that work for a living. Over here are our freeloaders. Come on. Go to bed. Come on. Everybody, go to bed. Oh, you fell off. Come on. Go to bed. Everybody. on this side anyway is now in bed so there you have it the chickens are put to bed the big kids they'll stay out for a little bit longer but they actually put themselves to bed and their door automatically closes right behind them i am not far behind the chickens i'm going to go to bed i've got an early morning tomorrow and then uh what one more day of the weekly vlog where we're gonna actually i'm gonna i'm gonna do this i'm gonna sit down and we're going to take a look at how much the tires cost us for the four-wheeler and if it was really worth it to to do it ourselves so we're going to take a look at those prices coming up uh until then i guess uh i'll see you in dreamland have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow <music>it's now saturday here on the ranch and we are going to take one last look at our employee of the month uh for well the week our employee of the month for the week this dashing young fellow is actually standing right over here <laughs> jeff congratulations on the uh being the first ever employee of the month it was it was a toss-up between you and blonde cow I have to tell you. Oh, I edged her up. You edged barely, <laughs> barely. You know, she had a calf. She's a little needy. She is. She's a lot. She's a lot more needy than you are. <laughs> so, and you made dinner tonight. I, I did. That, that's what pushed it right over the edge. Is, is Jeff does cook occasionally. <laughs> uh, tonight was uh, lamb shanks. Lamb shank. And how did you cook? What were they? They were in tomato. Slow cooker beef uh, stock and tomato paste and some seasoned salt. See. All there is to it. There you go. When was the last time you were employee of the month? Uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been employee of the month. So really? This is an honor. See, I mean, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Honor. You can't have the plaque. I need to keep it. Well, that's okay. But uh, we'll keep it up there. I'll take a picture of it. Hey, there you go. That's not a bad idea. Um, you just got back from filling waters for the 19th million time. <laughs> um, is that job getting old at all? No. No? No. You like driving the Mac. I do like driving the Mac. Yeah, even though there's no AC and it doesn't matter. apparently sometimes gears tend to <laughs> get possessed. And Jeff told me, he said uh, that he was going, you were in second gear going backwards. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was going the wrong direction. Yeah, there's probably some reason for that that we should probably look into, but, well, eh, you know, maybe later. It, uh, it got fixed. If, <laughs> by just I didn't fix it, but no. it got fixed. I'll tell you what, if it happens again, maybe we'll think about looking at it. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool deal. Hey, there's Bean over there. Would you mind throwing her in the yard? Sure. I'm going to finish this up. Thanks, yeah. man. Appreciate it. All righty, guys. That's it. Uh, oh, you know what? I promised you, uh, first of all, Aschenbach or Aschenbach, not exactly sure which one it is, uh, Farms in Maryland. Bill and Joanne sent me this shirt. Thank you very much, guys. If you would like to see uh, one of your ranch shirts or farm shirts or anything else that you would like to see, feel free to send us a shirt. I'll be glad to wear it uh, in the daily vlogs.
Okay, so we talked earlier um, in, the, in, in the week about the new tires that we put on the four-wheeler and, uh, and if it was really economical for us to do it. And I went back and I looked at the last time we bought tires for a four-wheeler, which was a long time ago. Um, so prices have probably gone up since then, but we paid $149 a piece for the back tires. So that's 300 bucks back then. $119 for the front tires, so that's another $240. So for a total of $540 for a set of tires. Now this was years ago. Now I don't remember if they charged me to install them, um, but I do know that if you take in your own tires, they're gonna charge you to do it, and it's right around $30 a tire um, to do the installation. So that would be another $120. So you're looking at $660 just for those tires. On the flip side, I'm gonna switch the camera for dramatic effect. On the flip side, um, we bought the tires that, that we put on earlier in the week for $264 through Amazon, the Sun F tires. And actually, I can't tell the difference. I've been driving them all week long. They seem just like normal, everyday tires to me. We're gonna head in here because we did buy a few things to go along with that, but I doubt we're gonna reach that, or that $660 mark. Of course, we have the tire changer, which uh, didn't cost us a thing. That was Jeff's um, generosity, basically, that got that for us. And I also purchased, I'm really crooked here, Look like I've been drinking. I also purchased the uh, Bead Buster XB450, which runs right about uh, 100 bucks. So we're gonna say we had $364 into this project of these new tires and through our local tire shop could have been upwards of about 660 for new tires. So definitely um, a, a time saver and a money saver to be able to do it yourself. Time saver, eh, not so sure. Money saver for sure. And I'm actually pretty proud of us. I think that um, if we can keep going along this route, being able to do our own tires here on the ranch, um, it'll make a big difference in the long run. I mean, and we're not just plugging tires, we're actually fixing tires. Next up, I'm gonna learn how to patch a tire um, from the inside. And I think that'll be uh, a fun thing to do because um, I do a lot of plugging and stuff like that. But if I can patch tires, I'm saving even more money. So I think that's, uh, it's definitely something um, that, uh, that will pay off in the long run. Speaking of paying off, thanks guys for hanging out with us for a whole nother week here on Our Wyoming Life. Be sure you to subscribe and follow along as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Thank you very much for the t-shirt, Bill and Joanne. We do appreciate this very much. And we've got more t-shirts on the way next week. And if you'd like to see your shirt uh, featured here, feel free to send it to us and I'll be glad to wear it in uh, either a daily vlog or maybe even in a regular weekly video. New videos coming up. I think now I've been telling you guys and I've been doing this for the last couple of weeks. I've been doing Tuesday and Thursday. I actually think I'm gonna to go back to Tuesday and Friday, um, just because having a little bit more space in between videos works out for me uh, a little bit better. And of course the daily vlog will still stay on Sunday. So look for next week's videos to come out on Tuesday and on Friday, and then the, the weekly vlog uh, on Sunday morning as well. So guys, that's it for us for the week. Tomorrow I get to take off from videos. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life.